guys, it's Amber here with eTrailer. If you've spent any time online looking up anything about solar panels and solar power in your RV, you've probably gotten lost in all the explanations of watts and volts and all the math involved. But it can be a little bit difficult to tell how much solar you actually need and what that really looks like. How much solar power do you need to brew a hot cup of coffee? Or how much do you need to be able to sit in your RV and watch the big game? Today we're going to look at what you need to be able to do those things and provide a little bit of context to those numbers that you're seeing online. So one thing to keep in mind is that there are other things that are going to factor into your solar panel setup, such as your location and how much sun you get, as well as your battery bank. That's going to be really huge. Uh, so we're going to factor that into our calculations today, but just keep in mind that your setup might look a little bit different. So we're going to start with a small solar setup. This is going to be appropriate for a small camper like this teardrop that we have here. Uh, we're looking at about 200 watts of solar or less. And here we have a 190 watt panel. Um, so this is an example of what you might use uh, for a camper like this. Now space is going to be one of the big limiters of solar panels whenever you're trying to put them on your RV. As you can see here, uh, we don't have a lot of space up there. This one doesn't even quite fit on top of this particular rig. So you're going to want to uh, measure carefully and uh, you can figure out how many panels you can actually put up uh, on your roof before you start investing. Another great option is a portable solar panel like this, uh, which you can use away from your camper um, so you don't have to worry about sticking it on your roof. Um, so we ran a couple of numbers through our solar calculator that we have here on each other's website and we determined that with a single 100 amp hour lithium battery in Missouri for two days, we could run about six hours of laptop charging, a couple hours of LED lights, and an hour or so of our fan um, just on solar panel, on a solar panel like this um, at 190 watts. And obviously this is just going to be an example. Uh, you might run different appliances, uh, you might run them longer or shorter, and that's going to change up your time a little bit as well as your location and if you have uh, fewer or more batteries. So now we're going to jump up to a 380 watt solar panel setup. And this is going to be more appropriate for something like the travel trailer that we have here behind me. Um, and for somebody who's looking for a little bit more luxury, a little bit more wiggle room and the appliances that they can use. Um, for something like this, if you have a, say a 200 amp hour battery for about two days, um, you can expect to run your laptop for about six hours a day, um, use your lights for a couple of hours, use your fan for several hours. Um, and you're also gonna be able to enjoy some other luxuries like using your Instapot to cook dinner or warming up your leftovers in the microwave, making yourself a cup of coffee, using your hair dryer for maybe 10 minutes or so a day. Um, so you can add those little bit of those few luxuries in um, without worrying about draining your battery super fast um, with about 380 watts. Um, anywhere between 200 and 500 watts is going to get you that um, little bit of extra wiggle room there. It's going to be a constant act of achieving balance between your panels and your batteries and your appliance usage. If you want to use more appliances, you're going to need more batteries to be able to run them, and you're going to need more solar panels bringing the energy in for those batteries. So again, a portable panel is a really convenient way to add extra solar panels in addition to the ones that are going to be on your roof. And now we are looking at our biggest solar panel setup yet with a total of 660 watts. Um, and obviously something like this is going to be best suited for a larger fifth wheel or even a motorhome because frankly, um, those are the only rigs that are going to have space for something like this. So what can you run with 500 plus watts of solar? Oh, uh, you can run everything that you could run with the uh, 380 watts that we talked about in the last segment. Um, but you can do it more. So you can use your air fryer longer, you can use your water pump longer, you can make a couple extra cups of coffee, and you can just camp longer. So you can run all of those things that we talked about in the travel trailer, but instead of limiting yourself to a weekend trip, now you can double that and you can get four days of camping um, with a setup like this, running those same appliances for about the same amount of time. And of course, that's assuming that you have a battery bank that can support all of that. Um, we calculated a 400 amp hour a lithium battery bank setup in Missouri. Um, that's where we came up with the, the four days with all of those appliances that we talked about. Um, and of course, this is going to come with some drawbacks as well. And that is, um, there's a lot of panels. Uh, it's going to be a lot of weight added and it's going to be a pretty big price tag. Um, all of this together cost about $2,500 before you even get to um, your extra batteries or your solar charge controllers. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now remember, you can always add panels to your setup as you go. Uh, I recommend just getting out there, going camping, using your appliances the way that you want and figuring out what's gonna work for you and how much power you use. Um, I always recommend using a battery monitor to keep an eye on your power usage. And it's also important to remember that solar panels 
Uh, no matter how many you get and put on your RV, you're, you're, they're not going to be the end all and be all of camping. You're probably still going to need a generator for those cloudy days. And if you want to run something extremely power hungry like an AC. Um, but that's all I really have for you guys today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you're not sure how many solar panels you need and want our recommendation, um, definitely check out the solar calculator on our website or leave a question in the comments below and we'll be happy to help. See you next time. If you guys like that content and want to check out more, go ahead and click up here for a video. To check out an article on this topic, click over here. To check out a playlist, go ahead and click over here. Or to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and click this button over here to see all the videos by our awesome eTrailer teammates.